Help! This guy doesn't have a name. We just picked him up yesterday and we need your help. Throw in the comments below what you think we should name this guy. His registered name's going to start Snips. Got him at Walnut Hill Kennel in Georgia. And then on top of that, he needs a call name. So put a call name down there and then a registered name if you know how to do that. Snips, something, something that fits along with it. And we will be picking a winner here shortly. Hey everybody, Ethan here with Standing Stone, and this little guy, our new puppy, is here. Aiden and I took an awesome trip. It was a father-son thing that was a lot of fun. We got to fly on a plane, go to Georgia, pick this guy up from Walnut Hill Kennels. It was fun. He's a, a super chill dude, which is nice, but it's also pretty standard for a puppy in the beginning stages. Those first day or two, they need some time to adjust. What we're going to be doing here, though, is laying out our first week of training. We'll be following along with the online course that we have set up at standingstonesupply.com slash courses. This is a retriever flusher, so we'll be selecting that course. And then what that does is it allows us to break down the obedience, training goals, the developmental goals, and then additional complementary goals. So all of the things that we should be doing in his first week, that'll be put in a different video. Today is about the first 24 hours. We just got home the late last night, picked him up about lunchtime yesterday. So he had a huge first 12 hours and was tired. He got home, drank a little bit of water, wasn't really interested in his food, but then we had the opportunity to this morning, get him out. He's been spunking around a little bit more but then wanted a nap instantly. It's all of these things are really, really big. We are moving into his first training session, which is going to be working off of his meals. To start with, we've done a lot of just allowing him to adjust. Everything is new. He's literally been in one place playing with his three other or two other litter mates, and he doesn't know a whole lot else. He knows a backyard there and a little area. It's been big to fly and do all of these things, but here, his new home, We've just allowed him essentially to be a shadow. Follow me around, follow me outside, walk around and explore things, but kind of do it on your pace. The next thing that we're doing is we have several other dogs, like a lot of people do. We've needed to introduce him to some of them. The keys in this process, though, are we didn't let him meet all of them at one time. We let him meet only some of the older ones, and if you don't have older ones, per se, putting it into a situation where he's not going to be overwhelmed by your one dog or multiple dogs. It's also important too, to not let him invade their space instantly because they don't know him. So we set up kind of a neutral ground, just let them kind of sniff each other and check each other out in a easy for him to handle situation. The next thing that we're going to do today is give this guy a bath. He was bathed before he came home, but Let's face it, puppies playing with their litter mates and things like that just smell like puppies. And a bath is a really good way for us to interact and bond. And you'll have fun. Next thing that we're gonna do is just trim his nails. They're not too bad, but it is something that we wanna get into the routine of doing on a weekly or regular basis. And we will do a little trim and grind just to set him off on the right foot. All right, and last but not least, the two main questions that we get from folks when they're bringing a new puppy home is when do I start crate training and when do I start actual training with the puppy? The crate training process and the rest of his obedience-based training is going to start straight away. We wanna set these dogs off on the right foot and that is setting an expectation for what their life will be like moving forward. So he slept overnight in a crate. He was very tired last night, so it kind of seemed like Oh, this puppy is going to be a miracle. He never even made a peep. Well, he was exhausted. Today will be a new story, but we've had a full day of adventuring, so he should still do all right. But again, crate training starts straight away. We need a size appropriate crate, and we do have several other videos to talk through all of the tips on crate training that we do have. Next, actual training sessions for him. We're doing his training sessions with each one of his meals. This morning, 
He was very minimally interested in his food, which is not that surprising. This is the key though, folks. It takes just a smidgen of tough love and I'll explain why. These dogs for us are working dogs and in general, dogs need to work for resources, okay? Food's a very powerful resource and we are not withholding anything from him. We're offering a meal that he does small tasks the first one that we're doing is charging the clicker. All he has to do in this is eat the food from us. This is gonna help to build a little bit of a bond, but also show him that he has to work for it. In his session, if he turns up his nose, and you'll get to see that here in a minute, he, um, that session itself is going to end, and then we will start at his next regular meal time in the morning. This does a couple main things. First, teaches him he can't take anything for granted. The food will not just be there for when you want it. Why is that important, you may be asking. He, why can't he just eat when he wants to? Working for meals allows us to have a very regimented, specific time that we can help the dogs understand it's training time. This is gonna allow us to accomplish a lot with training goals and keep the puppies focused. Dogs are place and situationally oriented, and we can teach them that this specific situation of a training session at meal times is what's going to happen every day and it allows you to teach each individual thing that we show in the course and help your puppy to develop quickly and be excited about it. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. This is what 24 hours in the life of a new puppy can look like. If you just brought a puppy home, I hope that you've had the opportunity to work through some of these things and you're off on the right foot. If you run into hiccups or things don't go exactly like you're hoping, we have a ton of resources out there. We work with short hairs primarily, and that's what you see a lot of our videos on, but we also work with retrievers and flushers and all breeds. Our methods apply across the board. Check out patreon.com slash standingstonekennels if you want custom help, and we look forward to seeing you in the future. I'm the guy with the pink gun. This is Mr. No Name. We'll see you in the next video.